our next speaker, his name is Veza. He's got a last name, but I don't think he likes to even use it because, you know, it's kind of like, you know, Madonna, right? It's just one name. Veza is his name, right? things here is some artwork and we have actually crypto art and we have the artist here Vesa Vesa good to see you pleasure so tell us about what yeah, you sure. do I'm a digital mixed media artist and I was first professionally from the year 2000 I was a filmmaker I did a bunch of music and photography and then around 2008 that evolved into something that I started calling Artevo which is a mixture of oil portraiture photography portraiture through body painting and photography, painting and photography, and Photoshop and nature photography, all of this kind of mixed together as a form of storytelling that is something about going into someone's personal story of who they are, then comparing that to the universal bigger story of humanity and sort of putting it all together inside the frame. I'd made about 350 digital artworks and huddled them ever since 2008 that via NFTs now and the more side of the high effort NFTs as they're now increasingly becoming a thing after the low effort ones can become a new kind of realm through virtual reality, augmented reality taking a still frame even though it's from 2008 and through the layering um, make it come alive and then use augmented reality and VR solutions for that, which ultimately is going to evolve into the direction of artificial intelligence being incorporated into the whole experience. One of the currently available groundbreaking VR NFTs is called The Brave, which was made in collaboration with an anonymous crypto OG from the beginnings of Bitcoin, as well as Frank Spalterholz and Mighty33 as the other artists. It made national news via Ule earlier in Finland and sheds light on the whole journey of Bitcoin, crypto and NFTs since their origins. The coming collaboration with Brittany Kaiser, the famous Cambridge Analytica whistleblower, will also be publishing a roadmap soon. It all sort of ties in with this whole idea of how to evolve the world of art. What art really can do in our lives as a some sort of a healing mechanism, but also an excitement mechanism. Um, what are these metaverses? What can we do with these new forms that we're all exploring and, and putting together and how we can make new economies happen around them? And this is why I've said for a while that NFTs really are a liberation of a whole creative class of people.